Hello, and welcome back to Code in 5 Minutes with Zim. I'm Dr. Abstract, and in this Code in 5 Minutes, we're on our last part of coding a Pong game. Oh, wow, what fun. So let's have a look. We have this Pong game. Oops, we've already lost. We'll do a refresh here. Refresh, and if you haven't seen the last Code in 5 Minutes where we, uh, where we coded up to here, then you should probably go take a look at them. There were two of them, one to do the paddles that operate with the camera and the other to make a ball bounce uh, back and forth. So um, right now we haven't, we, we lose, here we go. Ah, oh, we lost, but we haven't got a reset and we don't have a score. So in this code in five minutes, we're wanting to add that reset and a score in five minutes. Um, let's see if we can do that. So, uh, we will reduce this down. Da -dum -ba. Move it on over here. Here's our code from the last time. We're on CamPong 3 now. Oh, yes. Uh, so, if I'm wanting to test this, this is CamPong 2. So, I may as well close that down. And here, by the way, is where we got the Zim template. But we, we did all that. This is from the Zim site, zimjazz.com. And we go to code and we hit copy the template there. Um, anyway, we're wanting to test CamPong 3, and for us to do a score or get that all ready, maybe it would be easiest if we didn't bring in all this Cam stuff. So, can we do that? Let's comment out the Cam stuff that we had. That was asking about the Cam. Here's the Track stuff. We'll leave that. We won't need any of this Cam, and we won't need any of the... Uh, the the data from the cam. We might need this stuff. It's all the ball. And then where do we end up here? Doop, 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 doop. That's the ticker. The ticker goes to here, so we don't need these guys. And let's do a little test on that. Open in browser. There we go. Okay, so we refresh here. I have, I'm not able to move those <laughs> because, so I'm just going to practice losing a lot. <laughs> there we go. And so what we're going to do in our code in five minutes is we'll code the right-hand side first. So we'll want to make it so that, that ball aims so that it's missing. And we'll get the score working for the right-hand side without, uh, without worrying about loading the camera every time. So another thing that we want to adjust here is we'll always make this go, I don't know, sort of like five and five. Okay, so what's going to happen is that should angle down to the right now. There goes the ball and there's the score. Okay, so the bounce and there it is getting the score and we'll practice increasing the score. Once we do that on one side, then we can copy it over to the other side. Uh, what else do we need to do? We need to reset the ball in the middle, and we have to get that score to increase. And we're trying to do that in five minutes. Okay, so here we go. Hopefully it won't be too much of a problem. What do you think? Okay, let's start the clock. Start! Is that clock going? Yep, alrighty. So back down when we lose. So where is it that we lose? It's hitting the paddle. Here's the color red. This is when we lose. So here's where we're going to want to do the score. I guess we need a score, don't we? So where shall we put that? How about in here? Uh, const score right. We'll do the right hand side is equal to a new label. If we imported the game module, we could bring in a scorer. That would be easy enough to do, but it's pretty easy to do with just a plain label as well. And so we'll make this, the text will be zero to start. And we will make a background color of, which side is this? This is blue, but why don't we make it a little bit darker? Dot darken and 0.3 or something like that. That's the color. What else do we want to do with that? Uh, that's enough for now. Oh, well, like te text white, so color colon white. There we go. We will dot pose this, dot pose at, say, 100, well, maybe 50, and 50 uh, from the center. 
Okay, and that will put a score on there. And then down below here, when we get something bad happening, we can say score uh, right dot text plus equals one. So that will increase to that. We don't need to worry about the stage dot update. And let's see if we've got that happening. So we take a look here. Bloop. There, there's the zero. Oh boy, that's that's not good. Uh, plus equals one seems to have added it as a string and it's constantly going. So we're going to have to do a little test in here. Um, so what we can do is let scoring equal false. So if we're not scoring, it's false. And then here, if scoring, if not scoring, so if we're not scoring, then we go ahead and we do this stuff. And here we would say scoring equals true. So there we are scoring. What do we do with this plus equals one? Um, um, let's see, score.txt, so that's text. If we were using a score, that, that would be uh, fine. Uh, I don't know, how do we turn that into, can I just, uh, if that's supposed to be a number. So, um, uh, do it this way is equal to number score x plus one uh, uh, plus one. Okay, that will probably do it. And um, let's try right now. Refresh. Sorry, I, the cat is there's one. Yay! But we can't test to see if it keeps on going up, but presumably, it, oh, it, actually we can reset. So here we want to also reset, so we can do a time out uh, of say one second, call this arrow function, and at that point we can take the score, we can take the ball dot x equal to the stage x, um, stage width divided by two. Sorry, the cat is just knocking at my window in behind. It's uh, distracting me. I'll have to wait. So there we go. And now we do a timeout and there it puts it back in. Ah, didn't keep on increasing the score though. And it didn't come back. Oh, right. Um, scoring false. So wait a second. If it's not scoring, set the scoring to true, but in the timeout, set the scoring to false. Somewhere we need to set the scoring to false. Scoring equals false. There we go. And I think we're done. All right, let's pause that timer and have a look. Main, oh, I really, okay, I'm going to leave this here running. Let me just let the cat in and you check out the score. Okay, is that score going up? <laughs> it took, took me eight seconds to let the cat in. <laughs> oh my goodness, what a pain in the neck that cat is, huh? Isn't that nice though? We see the score going up, so we got the score on one side. Oh dear, that didn't even, oh, there we go. What's gonna happen now? And we score, all right. Um, oh, wait a minute, I'm giving the wrong score, aren't I? This should really be the score for the other person. <laughs> All right, well, uh, that won't take too much to adjust. Let's start the timer going and see if we can, if we can figure this out. So this is for the other person. Um, what do I need to do? I need to make another score here, like so, and move this. This will be the left-hand score, and it can be pink like that, and white, and we'll center it, but we'll go negative 50, like that. And I've only got <laughs> two seconds, this isn't fair. Pause, I'm claiming the cat, I'm claiming cat distraction. Um, there's the uh, score on the left-hand side, and we just swap her here. So all this stuff that was uh, doing in here, copy that goes down inside of this other one here. Oh, we definitely could have done that. We'll resume the thing and we just have to change that to score left and score left and we're done! Woohoo! <laughs> Good 
code in five minutes and two seconds. There we go. Um, yeah, so we're pretty close, huh? I think I got that right. Score left now. Timeout of one. Ball X back to the stage width. That's fine. It's actually, we kind of did the same thing in both. We might have made that into a function. Might have been easier. Got our scorings all set. Okay, let's test out a final version. Well, why don't we get our paddles back? Code in five minutes and two seconds with Zim. All right, and bring that back there. Do we have everything now? I think there's usually one more bit. Yeah, up here. There we go. So we brought back our paddles. We're going to see if the score uh, shows up and it resets. Oh, we're really going here with a 59, 59 score. And we refresh here. Hopefully there's no errors. We allow. Oh, you know what we didn't do, though? We didn't uh, make it so... Oh, okay. Good, blue. Oh, and I forgot to look. We... Ah. Ah. Okay, I got to get my hands in here. I want my hands in, but my, not my arms. There's my cat. Meow. Looking pretty good, huh? Who, who needs some score? Oh, blue's winning. Oh, my goodness. We might have... Like, if you get to five, something else happens. There. Oh, oh I, I see one thing that we forgot to do. We forgot to reset the red. Do you see how it's it's still red for me? Dum-de-dum-de-dum-de-dum. <laughs> how do I get... How do I get out of here? Come on, get my Firefox. Or my Firefox. Get my, I haven't used Firefox in ages. Get my Chrome closed. Um... We forgot to, sorry, I'm totally cheating on the five, five minutes, aren't I? There's the timeout. After a timeout, we want to set this thing back to, here's the track color right here, track color red. We want to set the track color back to black. Back in black! And we would do the same thing down here after the timeout, but with um, the track left. All right, good. This has been a code in five minutes, and oh, blue is just totally, totally winning there. Blue's very lucky. So let's let blue score. Here we go. There we go. There's the score. And when we went back, ah, uh, there might be some things that we could do in resetting the ball. <laughs> Took my hand out. Blue score. Ah, blue scores again. If whoever scores, we want the other person to get the ball first. You know what I mean? Ah, sorry whatever um we want the other <laughs> blue again I, i'm gonna choose blue if i ever play this game they're just they're just doing it so if blue scores we want the ball to head towards the pink so that's uh, something we might want to do how would we how would we approach that we don't even have any random things in here so we forgot to bring back the random one so that's randomly going to go each way and we got random height going on now, so that's a little bit better there. But let's think about it. The speed x is going to be one way or the other. Okay, that's just setting the speed x. So if... Who's this scoring? If the ball x is bigger, this is the right-hand side. We'll want to set the speed to a negative. So at this point... It doesn't really matter. Oh, it does matter when we do it. We don't want to do it as it's still leaving the stage. We want to do it in here in the timeout. So we can say speed x is equal to negative s. And that will push it. That will make it... Oh, you know what? If it's going off to the right, we just need to flip it. So we don't even have to think about it. We just go the opposite direction, negative 1. So if it was going off to the right, we make it negative one. If it was going off to the left, we make it negative one, too. So we, we don't have to think about that. Okay, so just switch the speed x. And let's have a look there. Refresh. Yes, on the cam. Allow. We'll let it win. So it's going this way. When it comes back, it's going the other way. Wins on this side. It's going the other way. We might want to, sometimes if we were really to play this, we might get some big spin on here. And it actually makes it... <laughs> It makes it hard to... <clears throat> I'm trying to get some, some big spin on here. Where's my hand? Ah, crap. Sorry, this arm seems to be 
not functional. But anyway, we might want to reduce the Y value. So if a big spin comes on, we don't want the same big spin to come out uh, up the, the end. We want to cut that in half. So let's let's try that. Speed Y times 0.5 times equal 0.5. Time point speed y is speed y times 0.5. So yeah, imagine that you had a big speed y. That means it's it's sort of hard to get because it's on such a big angle. When it comes out of the the start again, we don't want that same angle. Like we could randomize the angle at that time. That actually probably makes the most sense, doesn't it? Yeah. So you see how we randomize the angle. Let's just re-randomize the y at that point. re-randomize and because we're doing all of these things together like that you see how there's a fair bit that's the same uh, really it's the track left color we probably could that's a track left color but we've been uh, I don't know it'd be tricky you'd have to call a function and pass in which one won and then do swap these guys in the function these are the only two things really or well these Three cases are the only thing that changes in this whole thing. So it might be nice to throw that in a function and pass in parameters for these. Uh, but for now, we'll leave it like that. We cheated a little bit on the code in five minutes. Code in five minutes plus five minutes for some extra little bits there. But that was just to sort of tidy up the, the game to make all of its little nuances work well. I am Dr. Abstract. This has been a Code in 5 Minutes, the third part of a series. Hopefully you saw the other ones as well. And go back and look through more Code in 5 Minutes. And look for future Code in 5 Minutes. And join us on Slack. And join us on Discord. Zimjs.com slash Slack. Zimjs.com slash Discord. Have a great day or night. Cheers.